tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello, I hope you're good. We're going to talk about unification and combination today. Let's start. It's a it's a polygon modeling thing, really. We go to modeling here uh, because we need that later. Uh, we can choose the tab polygon modeling now and create a cube. And we leave it there for now. Now we go to Windows and General Editors and the Content Browser. And in the Content Browser, under Modeling, you have People. And under People, you find, for example, Alison Post. Double click her and she'll land in the scene. Since we didn't adjust our dimensions here, these are centimeters. That's why she's extremely big very tall and we just select her and scale her down to our purpose press the key F in the side window we can see things more precisely she's uh, standing exactly with her foot on the ground so we can move the actually let's scale her a little bit further down and now select the cube and move it up like this And uh, I want it to be just a little bit more high because I want to demonstrate you something. So uh, let's scale it a little bit higher and move it there. So it's uh, slightly above the ground. I think that's all right now. So uh, in the perspective view, you see that the block penetrates part of her body or the other way around. And uh, this is what I want, want to show you. Because when you do something in, in real life with real clay, for example, you unify these two things. You don't model them separately. Uh, they are one block. In Maya, of course, the standard object is just a shell. So it's empty inside. It's hollow, hollow inside. And uh, I'm going to show you something quite interesting now because it's so obvious with this setup here. Um, Let's select both of them and control D duplicate them and I move them to the side because we're going to do two experiments. Actually, thinking about it, let's shift D. We have a third duplicate. Uh, oh, I want to try a, a third thing as well. It's always good to optimize the scene size. It's under file, optimize scene size and some of these things disappear here. Uh, which is just fine. Uh, it just cleans up a little bit. And um, now we select the block and her, or the other way around. And uh, we're under modeling, and we go to mesh, and we combine the two. Currently, they are two objects. When we combine them, they're one object. It's that object here. So when we select her now, we also select the cube she's sitting on and the other way around. So it's one piece of geometry. Now, um, let us have a look inside. Let's pick the faces and delete that one. So we see that she's right mouse click and uh, so you see that she's um, keeping her body intact, but uh, she penetrates the the cube here. That's what I want to show you. That's the command mesh combine. It just combines the things, the polygon objects, and it doesn't cut away anything. Now let's um, try the second attempt here approach. We select both of them. The order is uh, not important here. And now we go to mesh and under booleans, it's a boolean operation. Interesting uh, ma mathematician uh, and we can go to union let's unify the two of them Maya has to think a little bit longer now but now it's done and when we select the faces now and delete that one we see quite a difference 
So in this case, both objects are the same as before, but just combined into one object, basically. So you pick her or the block, it's, it's always the same. And it's the same here now, but the difference is that Maya cut away with a Boolean operation parts of uh, her body, which is just fine. This uh, is much more like a, a real clay modeling procedure. I will place a light in, inside there or just create a sky dome light, which makes life very easy. And uh, have a look inside here. Let's go to Renderer, Arnold, and run the rendering. It takes a while when you start the, the IPR rendering uh, first time, and then it uh, is much faster. Because uh, we have to load textures here, which we don't see in this view here, but we'll see uh, the textures in a second. So the, she's not gray. That's basically what I wanted to say. Uh, let's go to the attribute editor, control A. And with the sky dome light selected, let's raise the intensity quite high. And now you see how this part has been cut away. Whereas here, the genes are in the box. Quite a difference. And the third thing, well, let me select her and then we go back here so we can see things better and then the cube. And now I go to mesh booleans and I create the difference. You see what I mean? And with this, I'll leave you alone now. Have a nice day. Bye bye.